YouTubers! Today, d and I are going to be talking about whether or not Goku and Vegeta are actually still Whis's students. So before we get into this, I just want to actually make one real, real clear, clear point. When it came to the very beginning of the Tournament of Power, we were looking at Goku and Vegeta talking about going to train with Whis again, but we haven't necessarily seen them in the gi that they've been wearing or were wearing at the Fakatsu no F arc and also the Shampa arc when there was the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament. So with that being said, I mean... All context clues aside, man, what are your thoughts? Well, I do think that at this point, for one, I think that stylistically they probably should change back to the other geese. I think that look a little bit better. But those were obviously a symbol of them being basically pupils under Whis at that point in the series. And I think they were going for something a little bit differently. So that's kind of like a different discussion. But if you look at it, I mean, innately looking at it, it looks like, hey, maybe they're not his pupils anymore. And then every now and then you kind of get a little bit of spot training because I think even before like the Tournament of Power, Whis and Goku kind of sparred a little bit and stuff like that. So every now and then you get a little bit of spot training. I just kind of, I don't feel like Whis has taught them everything that he can teach them, but I feel like maybe the story kind of evolved from that because having a trainer like Whis is probably a little bit too OP in the context of the series and what it could bring. Um, but then at the same time, I kind of reached like this parallel where it's like, maybe that's not all it's talked up to be because you have a character that can individually like Frieza get to that same level anyway. But for all it's worth, like I said, I don't think that Whis has taught them everything that he can because I don't think they've even master that one thing that Beerus couldn't do, which is basically having your body react without your mind having to tell it to do so. So I don't think they ever really mastered that. So of course, there's still more for them to learn. I, maybe it's more so a product of them just being in consistent, you know, peril to where they never could actually get back to training. Um, and then, but see, the problem with that is I'm jumping all over the place. But the problem with that is in between these arcs where there would be opportunity to train, they individually train. They don't go back to Whis anymore. So I don't know. It, it's kind of all over the place. I don't think they are anymore, though. I, I, You know, it's weird. I definitely don't think they are either. I feel like if they were, we would still be seeing them in the gi that they were wearing in the, the last two arcs that we saw before this particular arc. I mean, obviously, we saw them go back to their original gi in the, uh, the Future Trunks arc, would, the Goku Black arc. Would that really be a case, though? Sorry to cut you off. Would that really be the case, though? Because, for example, <clears throat> characters like... Yamcha, Goku, and Krillin kind of got to a point where Roshi wasn't teaching them anything anymore, but they still continued to honor him and wear his clothes. Well, they were his like, key. he was their really only, their only master. I mean, look how many people have actually Goku's trained under. It's like Master Roshi. And that is then true. Uh, it, <laughs> Goku's trained over everybody in the series. <laughs> <laughs> or at least fought people to get to another level. No. And I think a lot of other people were looking at the Future Trunks arc and going, well, why do they go back to their gi? I mean, aren't they still training under Whis at this time? I mean, that, that whole arc started with them basically training under Whis. What's going on here? But the idea, at least from the community that I was getting, was they went back to their original gi because this whole arc is about nostalgia. They're going back to what they were wearing during the, the Cell games when... Uh, trunks actually did show up and was like oh yeah that makes a whole lot of sense <laughs> like that and then after this they're going to go back to the gi that they're wearing because i know a lot of people pointed this out and myself included but the whiskey that he's wearing at the uh you know the very beginning of dragon ball super looks like or at least kind of kindred spirit to the same gi that goku's wearing at the end of dragon ball z so it's like well it's going to be kind of a more natural transition you know we have the loose fitting shirt that goes down in that kind of uh saggy thing where it's like tied together with the belt i really like that but now it seems like they're just kind of deciding maybe and it just kind of if we're clear maybe toy sales for the the geese that they were wearing weren't as good as they really wanted them to so they decided to go back to the classic uh best-selling toys uh toy well, that's why i said that <clears throat> earlier on and like what i was saying that you know they probably moved on from those geese because they weren't they just simply weren't iconic i mean you have these characters that wore the exact same outfits for our entire childhoods youth whatever right and for all these other people that are new to the series with Kai, and, and then you kind of see like this parallel. It's like, oh, well, it's cool. And hey, maybe I saw that one outfit, but for the, uh, you know, because I saw the movie of the arc or whatever, but for the people that did it, it, I can only imagine it being a hindrance, you know? 
So that's the real reason why they alternated back, in my opinion, because otherwise it would have probably just been better to keep them in those other uh, geese because stylistically they were different. They were cool. And I think a lot of people really liked them. Mm-hmm. But I'll ask you this one question, though. Like, do you feel like it's a hindrance that they are going back to the classic geese? I mean, I talk, I completely understand merchandising sales and just kind of general... Uh, you want to kind of keep the image of Goku and Vegeta alive to what everyone really remembers. This whole show, as much as we want to fight it or something, is really kind of predicated a lot on nostalgia. So it definitely makes sense there. But do yeah. them going back to their original geese after they took so long, and it was a long time, you know, it was the whole Forgotten OF arc or the, the episodes building up to that fight with Frieza, and then the entire Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament where they were wearing this gi. Does going back to the original classic gi and armor at this point kind of hinder Dragon Ball Super's, I guess, image? I mean, not necessarily make it a bad show, but also not necessarily distinguishing it enough from what Dragon Ball Z really was. Or do you think that that's really what they're trying to do here is try to make it as close to Dragon Ball Z as possible, bring back those great feels? I think that's it. I I think that they've constantly, from a lot of the moments that you've seen in the show— tried to find a lot of scenarios that are very similar to nostalgic moments that you would have from the original series or both of the series, the original series uh, with, you know, the plural. But I think that's something that they've always looked towards doing. And in the context of the show, I mean, if you find like a deeper meaning in it, once again, you look at it from a different perspective, maybe it is a hindrance from the characters. Maybe it shows a form of regression in the character's development as funny as it sounds different clothes whatever maybe that can symbolize something like that but i mean you've talked about it and that's the main reason why because for example the other gi the whiskey we got the chance to see it in super saiyan <laughs> with both of the characters and it looked great I, that's one of my favorite like the kind of like alterations of super saiyan just flat out super saiyan in that gi with goku looks great um and then of course we got to see it in super saiyan blue uh, did, did Vegeta go blue? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He did. I can't remember it off the top of my head. No, yeah, he what he did. fought he hit, right? To, oh, he did yeah. well, He did it to Kaba. That's right. Kaba well, at the end. Kaba, Kaba hit Frieza. I mean, yeah, like they went well, blue. No, Frieza wasn't a thing yet, though. Well, I guess, uh, yeah. I was, no, yeah, like, I was mainly talking about the tournament, tournament yeah. but yeah, the yeah. Resurrection F stuff. How could I forget how freaking it's late? <laughs> how could I forget how Vegeta came in and one, two, comboed Frieza to, oh, that was lit. How could I forget that? Anyways, you get my point. We got to see it a few different ways. And then, so, whenever they switched back, it was actually really cool for a moment seeing... I still really like Blue and Goku's gi now, for example. I think that may look better in the gi he's in now. I just, I don't know, man. It's kind of all over the place. I can't really decide. Um, I don't think that it is a hindrance, though, unless you look at it from a deeper perspective. Because otherwise, it simply is the right move if you're Toei to make that, that change back. And then, of course, once again, you squeeze the other gi for all it's worth. By making blue, blue Kaioken. Then you make blue Kaioken in the normal gi. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you get two for one pretty much. You get to do the same form and can constantly recycle it and sell it different ways. That's all it comes down to. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess this is like my last question here. So we've seen their willingness to go from a completely new gi back to the original classic Dragon Ball Z gis. Does this kind of change your perspective on how we saw Goku and Vegeta at the end of Dragon Ball Z? And if you think if Dragon Ball Super actually gets to the end of Dragon Ball Z and then goes beyond it, where they just kind of keep regulating those classic geese into the story, story, or would they allow them to change their clothing, you know, allow Goku to have the non-orange gi and Yeah, the one that he Vegeta. had towards the end of Z. And Vegeta to have basically the, the sweatpants uh you know tank top workout shirt <laughs> like, uh, like seriously like is that they they'll be like yeah like well this is what they're wearing on that particular day but maybe they'll just go back to what they always wore do you think that that hinders their character because i know it's weird i know it's kind of a weird idea but like you said earlier they're geese what they wear especially in cartoon shows like this is a this is a cartoon this is an anime like what they wear kind of matters. It does kind of show exactly how much they've grown and progressed as characters. And as much as anyone wants to say, like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter, what they're wearing at the end of Z does show just how much they've uh, progressed 
uh, individually. And if they take that away and show that he's still wearing the whole Roshi Gi or he's still or Vegeta's still wearing the Cell Games armor that Bulma made for him, does that take it away? Yeah, and kind of back to some of the original things I was saying too, I do think that moving on from the Gi kind of symbol uh what's the word? Uh symbolizes the conclusion of the character's arc under that master. Which is why I really like that he moved on from the Weiss's gi, if you look at it from that perspective. I don't like the fact that he moved back to his normal gi, but I think that as far as Goku is concerned, it's more like Vegeta in that it's not really a training gi, it's just something he's always worn and he's comfortable in. Um, but then towards the end, even if you look at it as him kind of representing, you know, the, the turtle style, um, towards the end, you know, he has his own outfit on, completely different. Now, he could have chose to wear that that day for any particular reason, we don't know. But, I do think that show will allow that to happen because it's just funny, you know, as, as funny as it sounds, wearing those clothes shows something. It's it's symbolic, it's symbolism, it shows that the character's arc is complete. Same reason why I think that we recorded earlier video, um, Gohan just simply not even wearing a gi at all and wearing a tracksuit, for example, would have been or was really cool. Even if you don't like that idea of him being in a tracksuit because he couldn't find his gi even though he wanted to, if you set that aside, I think that it fit really well with this mindset that we're talking about now. I completely agree. But guys, like MJ likes to say, this conversation is just between D Free and me. But it just doesn't end with us, guys. We want everyone to go into the comment section below and share your thoughts and opinions about this particular uh, subject. I want to say one thing real, really quick. Sorry to cut you off once again. I cut you off like three times in this video. Um, <laughs> I want to say that we were originally going to do a video on geese, but we kind of did that in this video. <laughs> so <laughs> this video is basically a two-for-one video, so make sure that you hit that like button because we were going to make two separate videos on whether they were still his students or like and like the geese and stuff. So like <laughs> we basically interwove them into one for you. <laughs> we kind of did. It kind of did, guys. But please make sure to go check out D Free's channel. The link will be in the description section below. And if also, you guys are on my channel, subscribe to Mark. Link will be down there as well. Woo woo. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time we upload. But with that being said, guys, hope everyone has a good day. It's been real.